good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Day of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 81 review for you guys. In front of us, we do have Bianca Belair and Shinsuke Nakamura. Very excited for both of these for specific reasons. With Shinsuke Nakamura, we get our first look at the brand new Intercontinental Championship in Mattel WWE figure belt form. And then Bianca Belair is one of my favorite women in all of WWE, so finally getting a figure of her is going to be really, really nice. And I'm happy to plug her right into the MDT pick fed division when we start that women's division man i'm really excited for it i can't wait to get these out of the packaging see what we got going on with them there are some things that i'm concerned with regarding these figures which we are going to get into when we crack them out of the packaging but let's go ahead and dive in guys first up if you would like to pick these up you can go over to ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there i think they're even having a thanksgiving sale so if you guys like thanksgiving if you like food if you're thankful for the life that you have go over there and grab some figures using promo code md toys and get in on that sale but front viewing window here for both guys ladies yeah. spinning around guys you do have a picture of Bianca here and Shinsuke over there on the back we do get some bio reads if you'd like to read it you can pause it now yeah the rest of the figures in the wave great images of the two right there I really like the white gear we're getting for Bianca really really fire we got two images of them right there and that pretty much does it for our Bianca Belair and Shinsuke Nakamura figures guys so with that being said let's go ahead and crack Belair and Shinsuke out of their packaging so here's Shinsuke Nakamura and Bianca Belair out of the packaging, guys. Looking good. Uh, actually, I'm actually quite surprised at how these look, and we're going to get into all of that. I think you guys are going to be shocked just as much as I am. Maybe you're going to be like, Brad, you're, you're F you free. Are you mentally ill? Are you mentally ill? Yes. But seriously, though, I am digging the way both of these figures look. We are going to get into it, guys. What we're going to do first is run through Bianca Belair's accessories and Bianca Belair. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories and Shinsuke Nakamura, of course, comparing them to different figures and things of that nature to see how they fit into our collections and all of that good stuff. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into Bianca Belair's accessories. So with Bianca, guys, you don't get just, you know, an asinine amount of accessories, but you definitely get quite a few things. And I'm going to start off with this immaculate jacket. Kind of rhyme, not really, but diving in here, guys, it's very similar to the Street Profits jacket we got with Angelo Dawkins. It's very similar to the Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura jacket we got. Same material, and it has these, like, Bianca Belair, like, artist drawings on there. You got the EST. You got the Lips logo there. I love the pink and white of this thing. It looks really, really clean. I think it's going to look John Brown good on the figure. Let's find out. And I was correct. It looks it looks John Brown good. You also have Velcro on the front, so you can Velcro this just like Angelo Dawkins Street Profits jacket. That looks great, man. I'm loving all the cloth goods we got. I mean, we're getting some good stuff in this wave. We got, like, this is, I think, one of three different cloth accessories that we got in this wave alone, so that's really awesome. I'm loving all the deco that comes on this. This jacket is super duper nice, very high quality, and uh, this makes the, the figure worth it in itself. I mean, I don't know who else you could put this on, but uh, maybe you could play around with that and everything like that. We also have interchangeable hands and some sunglasses. Now, I am going to look and see what the sunglasses look like. On these glasses, you do get these like nice silver uh, frames going around. They are like circular, and uh, they have like some white highlights on the, on the inside. We are going to put these on the figure, see what they look like, and they fit the figure very, very nice. She kind of reminds me of Willy Wonka or something wearing those glasses, but I love that, man. I like I mean, dude, Bianca Belair is a baller. Definitely one of my favorite women in all of WWE. And having this figure is just super exciting. I think she should have won the Royal Rumble. That year she came out and was just throwing kids over the top. Was that this year or last year? This year feels like six years in one, so kind of hard to, to replicate it and figure out when that was. But we do have two fist hands. We have two entrance, you know, wide open, you know, key blast Dragon Ball Z hands or Iron Man pulse blast hands for her entrance. And then out of the packaging, she does have mic holding hands. One thing that I think would make the hands look better maybe is maybe I know on the back of the uh, on the back of the packaging she does have white nail polish but maybe red nail polish or pink nail polish would probably make these look better but nonetheless that is the accessories for Bianca Belair guys so with that being said let's dive into Bianca Belair herself so diving into Bianca guys I actually like this head sculpt a lot and one thing I wanted to know immediately when removing this figure from the packaging was going to be the hair of course this is very synonymous with Bianca Belair her long braided ponytail and I'm sure you guys are wondering if it has a posable bendy wire and it does not. It is just one long thin piece of rubbery plastic and it does not pose around. So that 
that is unfortunate, but she can still hold it. It's not like it's unposable. You can, you know, if, if you want her to swing it around or whatever, you can just feed it through her hand. So you can feed it through her hand right here, and then, uh, you know, she can hold it and throw that hoe around. But, uh, yeah, it's not posable. Really would have liked to seen it be posable, but on her hair, you do have the EST on the back of her head. She also has the Bianca Belair on the back with the EST. Very nice details going on. I like the silver ponytail band. I like the likeness. I like this head sculpt overall. Going down to the torso, you have her nice top here with the white and the same pattern that we got on the jacket. You have her white bicep bands. Nice arm color right there. You got the silver bracelets. On her back, she does have these lip tattoos with Bianca. Now, I didn't even know she had these for some reason. I, I guess I just always skipped over that in her matches or something, but there is all of that going down on the butt. You got the EST. Really like the font we got going. This attire is sick. I love this attire. She does have her nice double jointed knees in the white gear. I love this attire. I think they could have they couldn't have picked a better attire. I love the white with the pink and the silver and the you know the logos of Bianca or the artistry of Bianca's you know silhouette on there is fantastic. I love it. Going down guys she does not have pinless joints so not like Bailey. She actually does have uh, pins in her legs which I really like and she also has ultimate edition boots. These are ultimate edition Charlotte boots which is really really cool and she has the toe pivot from the all the ultimate articulation which means that she has ankle pivot how excellent are they listening are they listening to us because how many times have i said that the women's elites need ankle pivot so they just added some charlotte boots which had ankle pivot but it's not an ultimate edition figure so i love to see it she does have boot rotation nice double jointed knees she is on ball joints i think all women's figures are on ball joints at least a lot of them are but dude what a fantastic freaking figure this is a really really good figure this may be the best women's figure that i've had since the elite 72 becky lynch and it's up there with the ultimate edition ronda rousey i think if she had double jointed arms bro i mean this thing would have a case because i really love bianca belair i think i think that matchup would be absolutely a banger i like the silver going on on the boots i mean this this figure is very damn nice bro very very damn nice oh one thing i'm noticing is she does not have her navel piercing not sure what that's about but we need the navel piercing brad but that pretty much does it for the bianca belair figure so for your bianca belair comparisons guys here is the new elite 81 bianca belair up next to the ultimate edition charlotte ultimate edition becky lynch elite 80 bailey and the network spotlight oscar and she fits in great i think she looks very very good up next to all of them i honestly think she's the most superior figure in all of these besides the double jointed arms of the becky and i do love this head sculpt this fix up becky is really damn nice but uh, i gotta say dude this bianca is one of my favorite women's figures that mattel has ever made hands down it, it's very damn good and comparing it with the rest of our women here i think it looks great i think that uh if you if you are a fan of bianca or you just grab this figure you're gonna be highly satisfied with what we got and for our other comparison we got to take a look at what she looks like up next to the street profits so here is bianca belair up next to the street profits and my god the montez ford looks much better than the angelo the angelo is massive bro what is up with that i don't know but i like the way bianca looks mixing in with montez ford and angelo dawkins of course if you didn't know bianca belair and montez ford in real life are married i think they got married in 2018 or something so that is why we wanted to take a look at this comparison and if they were on mdt i think it'd be a really cool stable to have all three of these together competing for championships and that was my plan so we'll see how that goes got to get mdt live finished first but anyways guys there is your bianca belair comparisons so for Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories, guys, you don't actually get that much. You get interchangeable hands out of the packaging. He does come with his, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura hands. We'll show them off right here. Same hands we've seen with the Elite 63 before. This one's kind of warped, kind of kind of going off to the to the left or right there, Shin. And then we also have the other hand right there. So he has his entrance hands. He also comes with this SmackDown bicep band. So I think this is actually from Survivor Series last year. So there's the SD logo on there with the nice blue and black armband. And then, of course, he does have his mic holding hands and and then this is the prized possession of the figure, and it's got to be the Intercontinental Championship. Now, I will be real with you. When they first unveiled this title, I did not like it. I still do not like it that much. And I feel like the belt in figure form is kind of tiny. Comparing it to the figure and then comparing it to the back of the packaging in proportion to Shinsuke, I don't know. It doesn't look terrible. It just kind of feels, I, I guess, without the figure in hand, it just kind of feels like it's kind of small. But I like the side plates and everything. I am having, like, some black coming through on the gold right there. So it's like some gold paint got removed or something. It's it's not coming across as bad on camera because of the shimmer. But overall, I mean, it's decent. It's not my favorite Intercontinental Championship by far. It's definitely lower on my tier list as far as Intercontinental Championships go. But I, I am glad to update ours and finally have it for predictions and setups and things of that nature when we, you know, we're talking about the current product. So having an Intercontinental Championship is nice, but it's definitely not my favorite design. It just kind of runs together, and I'm just not a fan of the design. I don't know. A lot of people love it, though. If you're one of those that loves it, let me know. But if you guys don't like it, let me know down below as well. But that does it for Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories 
guys. So with that being said, let's dive into Shinsuke himself. So getting into Shinsuke Nakamura, guys, I am going to be honest with you. I am not feeling this head sculpt whatsoever. I don't know what it is. I just don't think the likeness is there. It's like the right eye. I think the left eye is right, but the right eye, maybe it's misprinted or it's like misshapen or something. Um, I'm not a very big fan of this hair sculpt either. I feel like if this side was lighter, it would have looked better, but I don't think his hair was lighter at that time. I think it was like all one length and kind of longer, so I guess it makes sense. I'm just not feeling it. And the giraffe neck that we thought it would have isn't as apparent. I thought it was going to be really bad, and I also thought this torso was going to be much more jacked than it actually is. It actually is very slim, and it makes it look like Shinsuke, and they did a really good job on it. Like, I, I like when this figure was first shown, I was like, oh, geez, Brad, what is this? And I was afraid that it would be really bulky, like a really bulky sculpt for his, you know, his jumpsuit or his pantsuit, whatever you want to call it, that he wrestles in, and I was really afraid that this was going to be all big and bulky, like Velveteen Dream, and really wide, and just not look very appealing or aesthetically pleasing, but they actually did a really good job on it. I think it looks very slim. It looks very good just chilling right here. It doesn't look too bulky at all. And this actually from the neck down, like if you cut off the head or if you put a different head on here, I think this would be one of the best Shinsuke's, if not the best elite Shinsuke. Like it just feels good. It looks good. I love the long black forearm bands we got going on. The uh, blue Smackdown wristband or bicep band looks really good. I like all the patterns you got going on. He is on ball joints because he is a Shinsuke Nakamura figure. I like the blue and black stripes going down big thick black stripes going down the side he does have black kick pads i think blue kick pads would look super sick as well maybe even white kick pads would look pretty sick but nonetheless i like the shinsuke man i think i i really really do like it i came in worried but i think i am pretty impressed with it just not that hyped on the head sculpt i think switching out the head sculpt would make it look a lot better but he did have the longer hair so i know that it did call for a new head sculpt maybe just give us the elite 63 head with different hair on it i don't know but people probably would have bitched about that too but anyways guys that pretty much does it for the shinsuke knuckle more figures, so let's get into some comparisons. And then for our Shinsuke Nakamura comparisons, guys, here is Shinsuke Nakamura Elite 81. Up next to the Survivor Series Elite, we have the Ultimate Edition, and then we have the Elite 63, all of which are pretty damn good and so ridiculous that I, I remember sitting here reviewing the Elite 63 and the Ultimate Edition and the Survivor Series figure, and here we are taking a look at Elite 81. I mean, we're going to be at Elite 100 very, very soon, and I'm, I'm just wondering what... I, I got to be wondering what they're thinking for Elite 100. They got to be thinking something crazy, right? I mean, like, Elite 100 needs to be outside the box, like super awesome thinking, super very similar to you know basic series 100. But as far as head sculpts go, you guys can see that this one, this one, and this one are exactly the same pretty much. But the likeness to Shinsuke Nakamura is definitely much better on the older head sculpt. I definitely like this one compared to this one. I just think the likeness is much more there. But you guys can see what I'm talking about about the you know the slimness. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I think playing around with some arm swaps and stuff like that, like arm swapping the the Survivor Series figure, putting on the black longer, you know, the long wrist gauntlets over here and putting those over here would be a really cool fix up. There's just tons of stuff that you can do and it's kind of ridiculous too to think about that. We have a lot of Shinsuke Nakamura elites, bro. When you think about it, we have like seven, I think, or seven or eight. You have these four, you have the defining moments, you have the elite 57. That's six right there and I think that is all of them, but six elite Shinsuke's is pretty cool. Oh, and then you have the NXT figure. So we do have, we have seven elite Shinsuke Nakamura's. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to pretty much do it for the two-in-one Elite 81 Bianca Belair and Shinsuke Nakamura review overall thoughts on both of them, I was completely shocked. Now, I knew that Bianca would be good, and I thought for sure that Shinsuke was going to be a letdown, but he shocked the hell out of me. Both of them came out of the woodworks and said, whoa, 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 Brad, we're going to be high up in that ranking when you elite, when you rank Elite 81. There ain't no god dang way you're going to put me down on the list, Brad. So overall, highly, highly recommend Bianca Belair without a doubt. Way better than her basic, obviously. I never got the basic, but I'm really happy to finally own a Bianca Belair in my collection. Again, really big fan of hers. I think she's fantastic. Shinsuke Nakamura, this one is really good and it shocked me, man. If you want an updated Shinsuke in the bodysuit wrestling gear and you want an updated Intercontinental Championship, then this is definitely a figure that you want to track down. Again, if you'd like to pick up either of them, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Again, Thanksgiving sale going on. Don't know if these guys are specifically discounted, but you may want to check it out and just see what's going on over there. Again, highly recommend both. Bianca Belair, definitely more than Shinsuke because we've gotten so many Shinsuke's, but if you want that updated Intercontinental Championship, this is the figure for you. I enjoy both. I was completely shocked by the Shinsuke. I love the way the torso fits and it's slender. The Bianca is just is just a baller, man. I mean, she is a baller. D just bona fide baller. But that is going to do it for the two-in-one review, guys. Before we get out of here, I got to get into my random shout-out. So for this shout-out, I want to give a huge shout-out to Papa Beetlejuice or Paul Paul Beetlejuice or Papa Beetlejuice or whatever the hell. He says, I bet Montez gets his smoke from RVD and Matt Riddle. 
Riddle. Oh, I meant Riddle with a vomit emoji. And that is true. You know, Montez Ford getting a little smoke in with the RVD and the Matt Riddle, if you guys, if you guys uh, get what I'm saying. But I thought it was funny that he says, oh, I meant Riddle with the vomit emoji. That is true. They changed his name from Matt Riddle to Riddle. Hate it. Absolutely god-awful. And I wanted to mention that Zelina Vega did get released yesterday. Totally shocked. Did not expect that 100%. Completely out of left field. But I think she's going to thrive outside of wrestling. You know, she won't be chained down to the company anymore. She can venture out. She can do modeling, cosplay, do whatever she wants. I think that she's fantastic at what she does as an actress. I think she's great as a model. I think she's great. And whatever she puts her mind to, she's going to be really good at. So Zelina Vega will definitely uh, be in the limelight still. I think she's great. I don't know where this puts Aleister Black. You guys know they are married. So we'll just see about that. Hopefully he'll stay in the company. I hate that Zelina got released. She was always great in her manager roles, but I think she will thrive outside of that. And I think the sky's the limit for Zelina Vega. But I do hate that she got released. And hopefully we still get her Elite 84 target figure. We'll have to see about that. But nonetheless, huge shout out to Papa Beetlejuice. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My damn toys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.